Hey everybody, it's Adam the Run. Welcome back to Moe. Alright, then last left off, we were doing Nana's route, and we're now on the presentation thing. I don't fucking remember what they, they, that was called. The job search th oh fuck. Oh BB Company Big Building. Design. Construction maintenance. We erect the biggest ones. <laughs> uh okay. No one ended up helping uh, some random construction company. Oh, hi, Ed. Look, here I try to attract those who may work in the construction industry. Out of curiosity, uh, why that? It just seems an interesting choice. But then maybe the randomness of it is just par for the course for you. I don't know. How's it going for you? And why? All good. Watch me distributing all the flyers and no, uh, watch me distribute all the flyers in no more than five minutes. I know how to talk to people. What do I have to do? Just don't distract me and that's it. Is that all? Alright, you can also hand me these flyers if needed. So I don't need to grab those stupid leaflets, you know? Alright, ready, set, go! Some guy approaches from the, bo the booth, and I think it's a guy from the class. Hey, which class are you from? Well, what's the difference? Are you here uh, looking for work or what? I'm still studying, you know? And you could have been working already. Everyone would be so proud of you. I don't know. Construction is kind of low class. You can leave. Just fuck off. Low class. Fucking asshole. Hey, it's only the beginning. You're going to roll the whole site in the future. Well, it's the future, right? I need something fun from the very beginning. Sounds a bit entitled. No, 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 I, I, I need something much higher up from the, from the very beginning. I don't need to work my way up. Why should I, why should I, why should I earn my... Yeah. You have it, look here. It's an adventure for real men. <laughs> Meaning the work conditions are terrible. You can travel and get to know your country. Yeah, so I'll have to work in the middle of nowhere. Out of a compensation. Like, when I have enough to pay for the food every month? Screw you, we don't need someone like you. Whatever, I'm leaving. Pfft, whatever. No, wait, wait, I have to get this hand out. I don't need it. It's okay, just take it. No. If you don't take it now, I'll scream and say you're harassing me. Uh, what? I'm trying to touch my private parts. Not nah, seriously. The guy takes the hand out and almost runs away, his face being ruby red. How's this for you? Um, how should I put it? That was wholly unnecessary and also very confused. I mean, in several different ways. He was a dick. What you did wasn't very good. Uh, just all around. What? Add a victory is a victory. Um, I know, but still. D do you, though? D do you? Do you really? Hush, here comes another one. We see a humble looking girl approaching us. Hey, what do you guys have here? An opportunity to be a construction worker, a dream job for every girl. Are you kidding me? Look at this, a hard hat, fancy shoes, all this at no cost to you. Do you have a pink hard hat? No worries, you can paint it. Well, what do I have to do? Well, a construction site is Twilight World is, is a Twilight World of Swingers. Not saying a word, the girl turns around and hurries and leaves in a hurry. Nah, what on earth was that? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? When the wind blows, the whole site is swinging. Don't play dumb. Oh well, who cares? I don't need her anyway. Being cat with nonsense. Nana's performance continued on like this. However, the guy from the construction firm looked quite satisfied. By just driving everyone away. Well, whatever. We're about to get going. In fact, he already left us. Right, where's the girl's return? And the first one is Nana. Hey there. Look at this. Where are the others? Speak, damn it. Things slow as always. Well, I don't mind. It's a good excuse to spend more time here. I never return to the same place twice, but I'm ready to make an exception. What are you, a bolt of lightning? Considering how confusing and shocking it can be sometimes, I guess it's an apt metaphor, actually. Yeah, go on, whatever. I bet it's a trending date spot, perfect for making an impression. Maybe you're right, Ad. But I can't be sure unless I see it for myself. I hope you won't be stalking anyone. Anyone but myself. She's looking right at me. Wait, 
<laughs> right to your soul. <laughs> Those huge dead eyes just seething with fire. <laughs> Wait, maybe that means you want to return here, like, with someone. Why not? Still staring. <laughs> Get the hint. Get the hint. Get the hint. <laughs> just telepathically transmitting it. I wonder what I should say. You're the one paying, though. What? I haven't even said anything. She, she, she went the, the ex's step that you were lingering before taking. That that's what happened here. I should be the one making the invitation. That's what you think, right? Sorry, I hate waiting. It's too boring. I'm gonna decide it's act, uh, it actually feels weird unless you do it. Why though? So, do you want to come along or not? If you want to come here again, of course. She acts indifferent, but I feel it's all made up. Nana must be very, very nervous right now. I do. She says nothing, only smiles brightly. Let's go tomorrow? I'm not sure about tomorrow. I need to check my plans. Alright, next weekend also works if you're busy. Ellipses. On second thought, I can reschedule something. Huh? At 2 p.m. tomorrow, we meet here. That was a weird expression. Deal. Nana was terribly late. Uh huh. Hi, Ad. Okay, the outfit really doesn't help with the age impression, by the way. I want a dessert. No, sorry for being late as expected. I want to order every single dessert here. Every single one. Will it fit? Uh, also, can your wallet handle that? She did say you. Well, never mind. Now that you say it, just pick the best one. Impossible. All the desserts are the best. She's one for me if you know better. Oh, fuck right. Um. Okay, I fucked it up the first time. It's uh, strawberry, I guess, then. Because the peach was Marta's, right? Wow, that's what I wanted. Honestly, I wish you guessed wrong. I did. <laughs> so there was something you wanted the most. Of course, strawberries. It's a no-brainer. Name one thing which is cuter than a strawberry. Oh, wait, you can't. Uh, lots of things, actually. Most of them are animals. Hey, I'll share one strawberry with you. The only one. Uh, Alright, Ed? Right now, you're probably trying to come up with an interesting topic. Let me help you with that. Uh, okay. Say, what do you think a good date is? Oh, boy. It doesn't matter as long as it's fun and you get to know each other a little bit. Uh, I mean, either one is technically the correct answer, but going off of Nana, I'd probably assume it's this one, given her predilections. Spot on. Yeah, there you go. But what is fun about? Uh, it, it's whatever brings you personal enjoyment, which varies on an in, on a ba individual to individual basis. Fun things are fun, that's all I know. Oh, you f Okay, I'll tell you. Fun is about being spontaneous and easygoing. For you. Again, it's... it's fun is... It, 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 it's, it's not an object... Uh, it's, a, it's fun is subjective. Different people find different things fun. Just, just like people have different tastes in movies or food or whatever. Few things are worse than long-term planning. What's so bad about it? It's useless. I think life goes as planned. That's not entirely true. It's not that nothing is. It's that you need to be able to prepare for the inevitable, which is kind of an oxymoron in and of itself. But the idea being that, you know, when you have a... As long as you plan and you have, uh, you know fallbacks for potential you know uh, interrupt setbacks whatever then maybe you can recover or you know adapt it's not that nothing ever goes as planned that's there are probably things that have gone perfectly as planned or at least close to and there are probably things that completely fell apart from the very beginning it's just, that's 
a statement that is only true in certain circumstances. Trying to stick to a plan turns you into a non-playable character. Certain people work better when they have a better outline. Some people work better when they just wing it. It's different people. Different strokes, different votes kind of thing. That's the missed opportunity of a lifetime. Cake. Wow, look at this. It's a shortcake. And it's awesome. You promised to share one strawberry with me. Did I? Well, promise is a promise. Okay, which one should I take? You? No way. What if your fork is dirty and contagious? I take care of myself. I'm talking about the fork. I... <laughs> what? <laughs> well, there's no other way, but... Add, add. Say, ah. Uh... Uh-huh. Uh... <laughs> uh... How should I eat in a romantic way? Wait, wait. Are you... Uh, never mind. Add. Yeah. Why do you make your lips li uh, like this? You're like a duck. Ah. Uh, it was tasty. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Yeah, they know what they're doing there. Here. That. that. It's because he gave it to me. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it's so cheesy. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Did you really just say that? Did you really just say that? It's like, it's one of those things where some people, some people may be forgiving. It's like, oh, you tried, and that's just cute, sweetie. And this is, a, this is, a, <laughs> it's just, it's good. Oh, you. <laughs> Let me order something else for you. No, thanks, and you won't be asking how to kiss me anymore. All jokes aside, I really prefer you uh, to know me better and all. I probably contradict myself. No, it's okay. Do you believe me? Yeah, why? I'm lying. But a girl decides she can kiss you the first minute you two meet. You're kidding me. I wish. Regardless of that, I actually want to know you better. Does it mean you already knew know whether or not you could kiss me? Mm. Huh. My assumption is this is probably going to be the answer. I, maybe. Uh, just because, well, Nana's whole, well, I wouldn't say she's necessarily straightforward per se, because she does tend to do roundabouts quite a lot just to entertain herself. Um, Plus, her whole thing about not liking long-term planning. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of also connecting that as well a little bit, or at least I'm seeing that could be a potential connection between, like, um, waiting to see if, as opposed to, you know, if she didn't already want to, then there's no point in, in considering later. Or so, I don't know. It's, it's kind of what I'm going off of is that general, uh, like, stream of thought. So I'm going to guess it's this. Of course what I know. And... Ha! Huh, no, I'm telling you. Figures. By the way, what do we do next? How do we go for a walk? Let's do it. Also, promise to take me here again, Ad? Next second, Nana changes her mind, and now we're going to an expo. Art stuff. <laughs> okay, so I guess all of them end up here? Well, like a painting. Check out this fusion of ancient and relatively modern. Ad, Ad. What's your biggest fear? I honestly have no idea. Life, uh, living a meaningless life. Okay, in the context of the game, sure. Then we have something in common. She says nothing for a few seconds. And then she silently stands much closer. Yes, she has done this throughout the course of the game. And it still kind of creeps me out a little bit even now. That fear, it's because of my family. That was unexpected. My mom and dad are very conservative, so my life was predefined. Good education, steady job, happy marriage, kids, growing old. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't blame them, though. They're non playable characters. Hey, it goes in your parents, or family, after all. And. It only. That, that really only matters if they were, you know, good parents. 
you can, well, you can't choose here related to, but you can choose your family. That kind of there, yeah. You know what's funny? Sometimes I see a light in their eyes when, I do, when they do something fun. Well, that's for a while, and then they're back to their programmings. I want some fresh air. Sure. Move to a small park nearby. Hey, you're pretty tall, you know. <laughs> I think you're just short. I wonder if I, uh, if I come closer, would the difference make me look funny? Yeah, a bit, a bit. Only one to find out. Hi. Next thing I know, we're standing like this. Her gentle body is so close. Interesting choice of adjectives, but okay. Add? I told you that fun is about the only thing I need. Well, you know what? Maybe you're my type of fun, Ad. No, it probably sounds so cheesy. This is a guy who earlier said, like, it, the strawberry tasted good because you fed it to him. I, it, cheesy, it's not in his... It's a part of who he is, okay? You can't... <laughs> you can't pry those apart. I... I don't know what to say right now. Well then, why don't we just stay like this for a while? Comfortable silence is rare. Just like you. Um... Do I need to click, or is it gonna... This is a cool looking shot. Hey, Ed, look. Who's tall now, huh? How does it make you feel? Inferior. You pussy. Ha! Watch me, watch me now. Yeah, because that always goes well. Hey, watch this. Let me get closer to you so you can see it well, though. Well enough. Well enough. Yeah. Face gets closer and closer. So close. So close. You know, on the other hand, what I'm with you, Ad? I don't mind feeling weak. I want to give a reply, but words suddenly become meaningless. Achievement unlocked main character. Oh, hey. Welcome back. Now you get to know uh, another one of the uh, Moirai. Yeah. Let me call her right away. Oh, okay. hey. Hey, Ad. Glad to see you. You wanted to buy my true identity, right? Well, what can I say? Being non is much more fun. Maybe non is the real me after all. At least you're acting the same. Yep. <laughs> Why'd you have to stay here, Ad? Because I was curious to see what would happen if I did. There you go. <laughs> anyway, I think you made the right choice, Ad. Oh, and thanks for yesterday. It was very special for me. I'd invite you again any time, Nona. Uh, Nona. Yeah. Come by that name one more time, and I won't help you at all. <laughs> all right, all right. So, you have a whole year ahead of you, but where to start? What should you do? Tell me. The thing is, it doesn't matter. Now, that's a useful one. Because bonus points for sarcasm, but I mean it. Add, do whatever you want, but... But only if it's impossible for you not to do it. I'm... I, I'm confused. Well, would you like to be a writer? That doesn't sound too bad. But if you were to pick just one thing to do every day, would it be writing? I don't think so. Then never write. I can't live without eating. Does it mean I should do nothing else starting tomorrow? The only thing about eating the whole day... Is what you uh, eat extremely important to you? Well, not really. They need to live, not live to eat. Have you, had you answered yes, and I would have since you become a cook. Sorry, chef nowadays. I think you get my point. Yeah. What, only do something you're gonna 100% commit yourself to? I mean... It's fine to take off days or do something else just to, you know, clear your, clear your head. S some people need that. Otherwise, it drives them crazy. You've seen The Shining, right? Good. Then why don't you do the following? Get yourself a piece of paper and a pen. No smartphones. Go old school. 
I then list the things you really can't live without. And narrow it down as much as you can. It doesn't matter what's left in the end, just do it. Oh, and don't fall into the socially acceptable trap. Uh, what? As in, don't write. Wait, don't what be say socially acceptable or do something something else? What? Making something, uh, uh, marking something off your list just because it's considered not cool. What if I realize I like to do nothing? Those who say that usually delude themselves. You think you enjoy something when you're deprived of it. Do nothing for like half a year and you're guaranteed to go crazy. Nowadays you can make big money even by doing nothing on camera. Define nothing. But guess what? It's still a lot of work behind the scenes. Do your best. Trust me, it's gonna be fun. See you soon, Ad. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> that was abrupt. Jesus. It just... Well, okay then. That was... The Hinda Nana's route. In that case, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. And uh, next time we'll continue and go with Sima and complete the triad. Assuming there's not something else secret that happens after that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.